As high performance sedans become ever more powerful, well, it's easy to understand that they could be too aggressive for some buyers who want a little more luxury in their everyday driver. And that's why a couple of manufacturers have started to introduce middle ground performance models. In the case of Mercedes AMG, those cars get the 43 suffix. This is the E43, so it's midway between the lovely E300 and the Autobahn crushing E63. So how well does it balance its two missions of sportiness and luxury? How does it look? There's just the right level of extra sportiness and aggression added for this E43. I really like the details on here. The big wheels and larger air intakes make it clear that this is a sporty variant of the E-Class. Think of this car as someone who stays trim and in shape compared to the bodybuilder E63. How's the storage? The E-Class has a slightly smaller trunk than some of its rivals, including the BMW 5 Series, but it's still plenty big. You can easily fold down the back seats, and we should have no trouble fitting all of our suitcases from away back there. You won't struggle to store stuff inside the E43. There's a roomy compartment under the center armrest, two big cup holders, a phone pocket up front with wireless charging, and even space in the door panels for water bottles. Is it roomy? In the driver's seat, I like having so much adjustability from the power seat. There's plenty of room for me to stretch out, and I sit high enough that I can easily see over the hood. Back seat passengers will also enjoy a generous amount of head and leg room. Putting two adults back here shouldn't cause any complaints at all. How does the interior feel? With this car's black and brown leather, ash wood trim, and all the other lovely details that you see here, the interior just feels great. It absolutely lives up to my expectation of Mercedes-AMG cars, which is to say that they're lovely places to spend time with great materials that I just can't stop touching. Is it well equipped? Every version of the new E-Class has an incredible array of technologies on board. On this car in particular, options include things like a Burmester sound system, a color head-up display, massaging seats, this AMG-specific steering wheel, AMG 20-inch wheels, and active safety technology that can steer, brake, and accelerate for you on the highway. How's the infotainment system? One of the highlights of the E-Class range is this dual-screen display system with 12.3-inch color displays for both the instrument cluster and the infotainment screen. The instruments can be configured in various layouts, and you can use steering wheel touchpads to manipulate everything from performance menus to navigation. On the center console, you'll find both a rotary knob, which I prefer, and a touchpad for controlling the main screen. It's one of the best infotainment systems around. It also has support for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Is it a good daily driver? Despite all the AMG modifications, the E43 still for the most part feels pretty much as luxurious as the base E300. It's very, very quiet inside. In fact, this car even has an $1,100 acoustic comfort option package with extra sound deadening to make it even more quiet. Now, the 20-inch wheels on this model are a little stiff and aggressive over big bumps, but for the most part, ride quality on this car is quite supple for a performance car. And overall, it's just very easy to drive like any version of the E-Class. By that, I mean that we've got this really lovely, delicate steering feel, really delicate brake and throttle feel. It's just very easy to get behind the wheel, and especially when it's left in comfort mode, drive around with no issues on a day-to-day -day basis. On top of that, I really like all the technologies that help make it easier and safer to drive the E-Class. Of course, things like the color head-up display that projects a lot of information and these big displays in front of me, but also things like all the semi-autonomous features. This car can steer and accelerate and brake for itself when you're on the highway, which is relaxing on long journeys. In fact, when you're using that system, it will even change lanes for you automatically just by you activating the turn signals. So all told, getting behind the wheel of an E-Class, even this performance-oriented AMG E43, is really a nice proposition. Is it fun to drive? 
Well, yes, that's why you pay for the E43 over the base model. It starts with a 3-litre bi-turbocharged V6, which is found in a couple of the other 43 models too. In this one, you get 396 horsepower and 384 pound-feet of torque. So this car will get to 60 in 4.5 seconds, which is plenty quick for a big luxury car like this. It delivers that power in a really, really great progressive way. There's no waiting for the turbos to wake up. It's just a really, really gutsy, strong engine all the time. I've even got paddle shifters for the 9-speed automatic transmission if I don't want to wait for it to shift itself. And when you use the drive mode control to go into Sport or Sport Plus, everything just becomes more aggressive. The transmission shifts more aggressively. The air suspension becomes quite a lot firmer, which is a little less comfortable, but great, obviously, for going around corners briskly and the engine gets a little bit louder. Now, Mercedes-AMG sells an E63 model on top of this that's faster and much more aggressive, but I have plenty of fun just driving around in this model. I could be perfectly satisfied with how sporty and quick this E43 can be. How's the fuel economy? At 18 miles per gallon city and 25 mpg highway, the E43 is less efficient than the E300, but not all that bad considering this is a performance model. A standard stop-start feature helps save fuel in urban driving. How much is it? The Mercedes-AMG E43 starts at $73,000, but its price tag can quickly escalate. Tack on some options, and this one, for instance, is just a hair under $90,000. Again, not out of line with the competition, but a definite step up from the base E-Class. What are the negatives? It's no longer necessarily a slam dunk that the E-Class is the German luxury sedan you want. There's a new BMW 5 Series and it's really good. The 540 and M550 models specifically put up a really good fight against this E43. So you'll definitely have to go and test drive both if you're in the market. Who should buy it? The Mercedes-AMG E63 is a brilliant car, but not everybody necessarily needs or wants 603 horsepower in their daily driver. This E43 then is brilliant for somebody who wants a car that balances luxury and sportiness a little bit better. Like any E-Class, it's spacious, it's incredibly comfortable, and it's packed with technology, but it's got just enough extra visual and performance punch to put a smile on your face every day. Having driven all of the versions, I think this is my favorite version of the E-Class sedan. If you liked this Wi Buy, be sure to scroll down and click the like button, and leave a comment if you've got any questions. You might also want to go back and check out our Wi Buy review of the Mercedes E300 sedan from March. And as always, you can follow us on all of your favorite social channels, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Motor1.com.